hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome if you're new don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button today i want to bring you the school story with four little kittens that was taken in after they were abandoned by their man not only were they cute but they were very tame and easily handled which i don't normally see when dealing with kittens that age the clan decided as they were getting big and mature it was time to get them all vaccinated and sterilized because they didn't want to have another set of breeding kittens. It was three females and one male. I took the opportunity to pet and cuddle them before getting down to the task at hand. I don't always get nice playful little kittens, so when I do, I give them a good cuddle and a hug and a good scratching and patting. And these, they love the extension. Okay, it was surgery time, and I decided I can do it then and there. I also decided to sedate the male first and one of the females, because by the time the female got ready for surgery, the male surgery would have been finished. So I chose that the black tati. Black calico, as you see here, you can judge the sex of a cat by the color. If it has those three color combination of orange or yellow, with white and black. When it's more black and orange like this, it's called a, tart a tortoiseshell. A dark tarty. However, when it's more white, you would see it later on. That's a calico. Um, but yeah, due to some genetic combination, those three colors together in one cat mean it's almost always a female. Except maybe a one in ten thousand chance of it being a male, which would be a Klein filters male. It would have an XXY chromosome. I actually owned one of those back in the days when I was in vet school. That was a tortoiseshell male. So my injectable anesthesia protocol is reliable for three reasons. One, it's fast acting. So when you stick an injection in, you know it's going to work. Two, it's very safe. I've done thousands of surgeries with that protocol and loads of different animals and each dose is tailor made for the type of animal and the size. And lastly, it gives me the effect I need for whatever procedure I may be doing. And I know they're going to wake up afterwards. Cats are usually difficult to give medication after surgery. So for them, I use a total injectable protocol. Injectable anesthesia to knock them. Injectable pain medication that lasts a few days. And injectable antibiotic that lasts a week in the body. So I know they're protected against infection or any suffering. The scrotum of a cat is very sensitive. So for the male, we did a scrotal castration. I'm not going to show you the actual cutting. But well, it was done within a couple of minutes. You can see here, another thing is that cats don't normally blink under anesthesia. So you either have to put a gel in the eye or keep blinking for them. In this case, I do both and I do it fairly often. I was doing flank space on the females, so I was in and out before you know it. I also use very small incision sites. As you can see here, my thumb is covering where I did the surgery. It's just a small hole on the side that I closed up. This one here is what you call a calico. You can see she has that white, black, and orange coloration. Now, the white, black, and orange, when you see that on a cat, it's 99.999% .999 accuracy that it's a female. So, rule of thumb, all calicos are female. In the event you find one that's a male, which is very, very, very rare, consider yourself lucky because you may never see one again in your lifetime. My landmark for flank space are always the same, and I like doing it on the left side for some reason. But I was in and out again in no time. You can see my finger can easily cover the incision. Now the cats were piling up. <laughs> I was done with three really quick, and you can see them all there recovering. The last one, oh, she was so cute. She was a light tortoiseshell. She looked more like a tabby. But she was definitely a tartar shell, but not as dark as the first one. And you can see here, I was giving her massages. I gave her the injection, of course, to fall asleep. But I was giving her massages, and she loved it. I just rubbed and rubbed and rubbed her. I like playing with cooperative kittens. Most times, the cat just tried to murder the vet. But these little lot, they were so cute and cuddly. 
So I took the opportunity to pet them as much as I could. Just look at how relaxed she is. She's actually dazed, like in a trance. The anesthesia has not taken effect as yet. But I was patting below the chin, and she absolutely loved it. Just look how relaxed she is in my arms. Some vets would cut a big area around the incision site me. I just like taking out what I need to get the job done. I also did the space right there on my leg. So she did take a wee on me, but that's okay. With a cat wee wee is good luck sometimes. I was done with the surgeries relatively quick. So I kept them out there to give them their vaccinations. You can see they're all breathing steadily and we put them inside to recover. Wish they had a full recovery and it's all perfect now. <laughs>